hi everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a tool which enables you to run llama 3.2 vision 11 billion model locally on windows and chat with your images in a graphical user interface if you don't know what llama 3.2 models are i already have covered them in detail all four models from different angles whether they are text model in 1 billion and 3 billion size or their vision models in 11 billion and 90 billion size we also have checked out the rack and fine tuning so please search the channel but for the purpose of this video we are going to install this clean ui for llama 3.2 11 billion vision this is a simple and very lightweight tool that enables you to run this vision model locally and that requires only 12 gb of vram that's it <clears throat> This is a big model, so that is why we will be using a quantized version of it and it provides a simple UI for Llama 3.211 billion to run locally on the Windows system. And this is how it looks like. So this is currently running on my local system. I just uploaded this image of Al Pacino and I have asked this who is this and it has given me the answer. Similarly, for example, you can just select any other image. Maybe I'll just select this image and I'll, uh, I'll just ask it who is this person and then just click on generate let's wait for it it is going to generate it in a gp and the system where i am running it i have 32 gp of ram and 24 gp of vram but as i said you can simply run it on uh, 12 gp of vram if you have it so there you go you see it has very correctly identified who that is and you can uh, start chatting with it and you can keep asking it uh, you can ask it any uh, very famous movie by this person and then, then click on generate and if you really look at it it is a very simple gradio interface which is running on localhost at port 7860 and we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it there you go so it says that uh, Chaplin's work has all that stuff and then you can keep talking with it okay before i show you the installation let me also uh, give a shout out to mast compute for sponsoring this video they are also running this ai hacktober 2024 where i will be the judge it is currently on so you can also submit your entries you can generate a creative story through llm or you could create an image through a vision model or both and then send it across and you then get it get to enter to win hundred dollars in free gpu compute credits and there are a lot of other details i also have covered it in uh, one video on the channel plus i will also drop the link to them in videos description plus a 50 percent coupon code so please do check them out okay that said and done let's go back to this clean ui which is really a very nifty tool really like it so let's try to get this installed on our windows system so let me take you to my um, powershell prompt or you could even go to cmd if you want to run cmd simply type here cmd in your uh, bottom left or go to powershell so let me go to powershell and open it and in order to open the powershell i would highly suggest that you right click on it and run as administrator that is done now i'm in the users administ administrator i would suggest you create a new directory on your local system or folder such as i have done this uh, on my desktop i just created this directory called as clean just grab it go back to your powershell and then just cd to this directory and clear the screen here now one of the prerequisites which you need to have is to have python installed i already have the latest version of python install which is python 3.12 you can easily install python just search in your browser python for windows and then download the xe and next next you should be able to install it now next step we need to do is to go to this repo go here click on the screen button copy this path go here and then do git clone and then whole path it is going to clone or copy this whole repo in our current directory and then we need to cd into it let's clear the screen now for that of course you would need git installed again just search go to your browser 
just search with it uh, git for windows so something like that and then download this git and then in get it installed i'm not going to do it because i already have it so let's go back to this our powershell and we already have uh, git cloned it another way if you don't want to install git what you can do you can click on this green button download this zip file on your local system and then unzip uh, zip, zip it it is it will be the same thing okay so that is done let's go back to the powershell okay in the next step we need to create a virtual environment in order to create the virtual environment you simply run need to run this so let me run it and then you can simply activate that virtual environment so it says that it's not recognized i think i would just need to uh sorry i didn't press enter for the first command so let me run it again and you can see that in the parenthesis our virtual environment is uh, now activated next up we need to install all the requirements from the root of this repo so simply type this and press enter this is going to take a minute so let's wait for it to finish and that is done let me clear the screen and this is all the installation there is to it and now in order to run it simply run python clean dash ui dot py it is going to download the model load it onto your gpu and then it will start the gradu demo and it is going to take a minute or so so let's wait for it to start up you see it is loading the model and make sure that you have at least 12 gpu of vram so it has loaded the model let's wait for it to start the gradu demo and now you have your gradu demo so let's access this url 7860 and you can see that now it is running on our local system let me select any other image uh, maybe i'll just say select this one and we can ask it uh, who is the person in the image let's generate it so there you go in an interesting response first it said that it won't be able to provide the answer but then it is saying that uh, it has given us some answer but it was unable to identify the image let's try out few more let's click on this and i'll just go and from my images directory i'll just grab some more images maybe i'll just go with this cathedral and i'll just say what is this building and where is this located and then click on generate let's wait for it to come there you go so it has correctly identified that this st stephen's cathedral vienna austria and the building is the seat of the archbishop of vienna and the mother church of roman catholic amazing stuff so let's clear from here also let's grab another one maybe we will quickly do some ocr if i have any ocr image maybe i'll just go with this one i'll ask it what's written in this image let's check it out there you go it says the image is a meme that shows a person's handwriting in exams the first two pages being neat and legible the middle page is being messy and illegible that's correct good stuff okay let's try out another one i'm just going to check a few of more because we already have covered this model a lot in our other um, videos so i'm just going to go this komodo dragon let's see what is this animal and where is it found let's click on it and you can of course check out the progress from the top as how long does it take there you go so it has correctly identified that the animal the image is a komodo dragon which is a species of lizard uh, and native to the indonesian island of komodo rinka floors and gilimotang great stuff very very nice and finally let's try to see if it can describe this image which is quite blurry let's wait for it to produce the result and there you go so you see it has a correctly identified the blurry image of a man's face and the man's face is centered in the image and all that stuff 
and remember this is just a quantized version of the actual model and we already have seen the full version of the model and it was amazing just like its quantized version but really a good stuff by this guy who has created this clean ui for llama 3.211 billion vision really stellar effort i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching